Hi, in this video we are going to see how to manage an organization in VMware Cloud Director. An organization is a logical security boundary that represents a tenant. An organization is created by a service provider where the tenant can create its workloads for various development and other IT related services. A service provider can create multiple organizations in VMware Cloud Director which can be used by different tenants securely and independent from each other. An organization consists of granular roles and access mechanisms and is accessed by a unique URL for VMware Cloud Director tenant portal. An organization administrator has the rights to manage the organization's various settings. To review and edit those settings, go to Administration tab. Click on General Settings. An organization has various settings configured by the service provider, among which some can be customized by the organization administrator. In General Settings, an organization administrator can edit the full name and description of the organization. Under Email Settings, you can customize the SMTP server settings which will be used by VMware Cloud Director to send email notifications to the organization users. You can provide your own SMTP server information and customize email addresses for notifications. You can specify tenant specific Active Directory in Guest Personalization settings. Virtual machines can be joined to a tenant-specific Active Directory domain. Provide Active Directory domain name and credentials. Optionally, an organization unit can be specified where the machine objects should be stored in Active Directory. VMware Cloud Director provides the general purpose facility for associating user-defined metadata with an object Object metadata gives service providers and tenants a flexible way to associate user-defined properties in name and value pairs with objects. This information can be used in third-party integrations. An organization administrator can edit current metadata or add new metadata. The multi-site feature enables tenants to view and manage multiple organizations in different geographical locations as the same entity. The two sites need to be associated by the service provider. The tenant organization administrator can then associate the tenant's organization at one site to the other. Download the organization metadata of the current organization. For now, let's call it site A. Upload it on the organization at site B. Then download metadata from site B and upload it on site A. After some time, the organizations are associated. The VDCs of the two sites can now be seen under the same organization. Policies are created to control the usage of resources by an organization and prevent any overconsumption. For example, runtime lease is used to prevent storage consumption of a VM that is not being used. This VM would expire after the lease is over on its own. There are VApp and VApp template lease. The organization administrator can edit these leases and default new user quotas. An organization administrator can view the limits on the resource-intensive operations which are created by the service provider. Password policies such as lockout interval and number of incorrect login attempts can also be edited. The quotas for the organization are created by service provider and can be viewed by the tenant. Here the service provider has set a quota of 20 VMs for this organization. This concludes this demonstration. Thank you for watching.